Um, I mean, uh, boom, we're on. Okay, here we go. So let's um. Hmm. Okay, so let's open up chapter one. Okay, ready? Review chapter one. Okay, so I'm gonna go through. If you have any questions, just stop me. Sure. Okay. So as always, we start off with a Java file. That's where you have your source code. Read it. Right? No, that you can read. read. Then you can compile it, right? And yeah. you do it by Java, and you get by the end a dot class. Okay? And then that you run in your JVM. Everywhere. Right. Now remember that one dot Java file can have many classes. So when you compile it, you can, get, you can compile 20 classes. One Java review. Just a while. Okay, so I'm going to go through. If you have any questions, just stop me. Uh, what's sure. this happening? Okay. So, as always, we start off with the dot. That's the end of your source code. Read it. Right? No, that you can read. read. Okay, well. Wait. <laughs> it was recording myself. Okay, going back. So, in every Java file. You usually, many times what we have done so far is just right, one class. You can build classes in Right, that. right. Yeah. Yeah. But when you compile it, you'll get one file per class. One file for one class. It, yeah, I'll give you an example. Yeah. Let, me yeah. show you. Let me show you. Uh, like if you run Java, the, the, the class, you get one file per class. For every running, for every for every building, like you like, say you save every file that you save Java, you can get class. Right. But even more, for example, over here, let's, let's look, for example, let me see. Maybe this one's got an example. Doesn't look like an example. Let's try this one. Yeah, inside the Java code, you can write as much you want. Right, right. right. So you can write five classes in one script. Yeah. When you compile it, you'll get five dot class files, one for each class. So in every file that you save that Java. Right. If there's how, however many classes you have in there, that's what you need to say. Every class you need to save with the Java. That no, you don't. You're gonna call no, it. you don't. Are you going to call it? But you can compile it. It'll save it. Oh, so you run every yeah. each, every each class, one class, 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 yeah. class from the main one. Like is that yeah. the main? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so let me show you an example. Let me show you an example. Let's see if we can find it. I mean, I don't know how bad. Now we just have to make one right now. Okay, here's, a, here's an example. Yeah. Okay, so there's good dog and there's good dog test drive. When I compile this, I'll get a file called good dog dot class and good dog test drive dot class. Yeah. Okay. You can create as much you want classes and right. it's gonna give you the code the class. Yeah. And later on we'll learn about other things that you can create, like interfaces, but we're not we're not there yet. That's later chapter. Okay. Okay. okay so when a, a source file dot Java can contain multiple classes. When compiled, it results in one dot class per, per class. Okay? Okay, inside classes, you have methods. Okay, yeah. methods are just like things to do, right? We'll do it we'll later on a little more. And methods, you have statements. Statements is every time you end in a quote. What do you want at the method? Yes, this is one statement. Yeah. That's two statements. So, just, every time you end up with a semicolon, you know you're by the end of a statement. Okay, every Java app must have at least one class main. and at least one main method, right? So this main method, like over here, yeah, over here. Main. Okay, yeah. let's run everything. That no matter out. how many classes you save or which files, is long right? Again. So that's what, that's the one you're gonna call. Okay, Java is object oriented. Okay, so everything is in your class. Okay, later on we'll learn about a thing called the interface. Interface basically is a class as well. But you're doing that more. We'll see later on. Later on in the book, we'll learn interfaces. It's a class as well. It just, you don't. We'll see later, we'll see later on. I don't want to get you confused. Yeah. But it's no, basically. No, I'm getting confused. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Okay, but everything has that same idea of having classes and objects based off a of class. Okay? Not every class requires a main method, only the one that starts the program running. Yes. Okay? And every other method that calls to each other, we're talking to each other. Like you start the main, and the main, then, then when it's run, it's called. Yeah, right. They, 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 they. And again, you can make over here test classes that also have a main method. If you want to test something out, yes. you can do that as well. Okay? Code blocks are defined by curly braces. 
Okay, so for example, over here, this is one code block from here to here. This yeah. to here to here is a code block. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and you mainly have to, you, you know, anytime you have an if statement, you use them. You know, for example, over here, we have, um, so if this, boom, then do that. Yeah. Okay, and we also have by the beginning of a method. So code blocks just separate a piece of code. For a statement. Yeah. So it holds statements usually. Yeah, it holds them. Okay. A loop will have a, you know, will have a, um, a code block as well. Yeah. Okay, print line ln prints a new line, whereas print just does the same, same line. line. Okay, this is just, we won't really be using this later on once we start making real programs. We'll only be using this really for, more just for testing our work to make what? sure stuff comes out. The print the yeah, because by the end of the day, when a real program, we're not going to have people looking at a command line. <laughs> we're going to have real, for example, like let's see, in chapter... Let's see which chapter we get there already. Like you're not gonna type system out print line? Yeah. So what are you gonna type? You're gonna have a real screen and a real a nice image. Ah, with the interface. Yeah. 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 yeah, but what about code? Like you just need to, you're not gonna write the code? Well it won't be print line, it'll be something else. Oh okay. we'll see by then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. For example, I think let's see which chapter um yeah, whatever. Later on we'll see what we'll, we'll be going into GUIs. Okay? Okay, so, um, okay. Java has three standard looping constructs, loop, looping methods, right? While. while, do while, and for. We we learned so far while and we learned for. Yeah. We haven't really touched do while yet, so let's ignore this for now. Do while is like common or uncommon? I think it's very uncommon. Yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. I heard about more for and while. Yeah. Do for and while is the most common ones. Okay. Okay. And like we'll say later on. For, you'll, you'll use for any time you know how many things you have to look through. So you're looking if you through, know how many times stuff. Okay. Right. So you're looking through ten things, use for. Okay. While, you don't know. For example, say you want to keep on checking your network port to see when stuff comes in. If you can do while, just continue, loop forever. Yeah, you're only going to find it. Or just, yeah, if you find it, you're going to go on forever, right? Either way, the point is you don't know off the bat how many times to loop. Yeah. It could be 100, 200,000, whatever you want. Okay. Um, so here are some of the, the things that test. This is less than, more than, and this would be equal. Mm -hmm. Then two equal is mean, yeah, equal. Okay? Mm -hmm. So remember, one equals when you assign something. Two equals actually you're testing it out to see if they're, they look, they're the same. Yeah. Okay? Here's a basic simple array. Remember later on we'll learn about array lists, which are much easier and more flexible and more powerful to use. In the beginning, here's a simpler way. We just use this. So, for example, here you go. Here's pets, and you put that in there, and you'd have the name. Okay. Uh, Remember, the random returns a number between zero. But you not and write the uh, string pets and new pets and then the name. Because remember, um, over here, st we're, we're string. <clears throat> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. This is the data. Now you're right. String is weird. Because string is actually is an object, but Java yeah. lets you. Do it without saying. Ah, so you just write the string. You don't need to add after the equal string, new string. Right, you don't have to because string. But if you create it like a uh, object, right, animal, like you president, yeah, then you have to. Yeah, okay. yeah. String is weird because it really is an object, mm -hmm. yeah. but Java lets you deal with it almost like it's not. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Strong Java is a strongly typed language. Okay. All that means that. And make sure everything has the right type. So if you have an integer variable, you cannot throw in a string. So what's some type language again? Say you have a variable x and it holds a string. You cannot then two minutes later in your code use that same variable to hold oh, an okay. integer. Yeah, you can write like an integer with a right. string. You can, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 everything has to be the, the real type. And this is good and bad. I think it's much better than it is bad. I think it's very good. Yeah, because it's organized. It's organized and it keeps it, it prevents a lot of bugs. Yeah. Python is not strong type. So you can you, you can just, change a variable as much as you want. In fact, when you make a variable, you don't even say what it is. Yeah. Like over here, you see how it's how it's string pets? Yeah. In Python, it would just be this. Pets equals this. And you can write pido to bean. Right. Yeah. So it's they have both cons and pros, you know what I mean? I think Java overall is better because I think it prevents a lot of bugs. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, that's chapter one. That was it. Let's see how quick it is, man. Uh, okay, let's go to chapter two. So far, so good. Yes. Yes, I read this. I read. I read. I read the book like two or three times before. Okay, cool. It's giving me a half a month. Okay, so chapter two. All Java code is defined in the class. That's for the most part true. Ninety-nine percent true. We'll see. We'll see later on. Well, I'm, no, I'm just saying. Later on, we'll see about interfaces, which are very used in Java, but they're basically just like a class in, in many respects. Everything, yeah. Every, you create everything just like create the pattern, but in the interface, you put the pattern, so but it's basically in the class. We'll see later on. There's a thing called the interface. It's a, it's Java. It's called the Java interface. Yeah, yeah. We'll see later on. Okay. Um, chapter two has an awesome example of a procedural versus object-oriented programming example. Really check it out. It's an amazing yeah, I example. I read it like I do. Okay. I, it has to do with this. This is part of that screenshot. Um, like basically here you have a superclass. Let's just explain this diagram. Yeah. So and you have the super and all the what connect yeah. to the superclass. Yeah. So one cool thing over here is that when we have a new shape that doesn't go by the rules, we can easily just go over here and change what rotate means. What it means doesn't go is go by the rule, but you change it. That's a modifier. Right. Right. It doesn't yeah. go what we used to be. Doing. Like what it means, like shape. It's not it's square, but also a member can be a shape. It's just a name. Right. Right. So you just create right. it, it has its, you want. Right. It has its own unique sound, so you can override. Yeah. Okay. We'll see yeah. later on more of the details. Okay. Some of, some benefits of object oriented programming. Okay. Is you don't need to touch the tested working compiled code. Okay. Go usually, through. usually it doesn't. You you if you create a program in, in Java and it's working well, you give give it a good design. And some new requirement that your company or your yourself make up, you usually can add on to it without changing your code. You just uh, you just create a new class, which what do you want? Right. We'll see later oh, on. Okay. We'll see later on. There's many ways to do it, but if you do it well, object oriented programming lets you keep what was tested working fine exactly. and not only adding anything. Right. Just, stuff that you change are new like stuff. You're not adding anything inside the class itself, right. like the prisoner class. You just right. nail the same. Right. You just use a little subclass it or have more data that's populated. We'll say later on that that to be good at to do this right, you'll have to learn some patterns. We'll leave that for later on. Okay, it helps you design in a more natural way. Okay? Why? Because it's really if you start thinking like the world around you, that's how the world works. Yeah. Right? When when you say that someone's a human Mm -hmm. How do you know he's a human? You, because we know there's a thing called human, and yeah. we are we are all the human objects. There's a human yeah. class, and there's six billion human objects. Yeah. Okay. Like so we're not doing the same. Like with eyes, they have nose, they're right. walking, and, you know. and you so you start thinking of objects and thinking in that in that manner. Okay. Another cool thing is that the data and the methods are in the class together. Right. So it, that's that helps keep things isolated. Yeah. And the data and the method need to be the same. Like say if you have a walk, someone like a method that walk, someone walking. Like right. So right. you put it in in the data, walk, create like like create an uh, not an object, create an uh, variable for walk and you add it in, in the method you make it a walk to do something. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. So they work on each other. Yeah. 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 The yeah. point is it's in the person class. Like in SQL you don't no, have like to you see like you see title artist. Title, right, right, artist. right. It and works on this. But play, play is not. There's no up there play. Right, right. right. So it doesn't. Ha it doesn't. You can just only write, make a method just play. Yeah, a method could do. It could do anything, but usually it works based on the instant variable. Yes, yeah. this is one of them. Yeah, so it you. It's based on this. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, play. It doesn't right play over here wouldn't touch these variables, but yeah. it use this to know which song to play. Okay. Um, it helps you have <coughs> code views. We'll see this later on. But if you create a a, a nice um, nice class to that that works well, you can use it anywhere in your application. You know, for example, the, what Java provides us, like Java provides print line, right? Mm -hmm. That class and that object we use everywhere. Yeah. In other words, so when you build good object-oriented style systems, you can use it anywhere, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I got you. Like I understand, like you can call it whatever. Yeah. Anywhere. If say you have one that's called throw, you made you made a a thing that throws something, right? 
you throw a ball, whatever it is. So, you can pass it a ball and throw a ball. You can pass it a house and throw a house. Yeah. If you make programs well, <clears throat> it can work. It can you can use it anywhere in your system. So she, he, this this class just thrown. Like this object is like thrown. Yes, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see later on. You know, I see better yeah, example. Yeah, I understand you. Yeah. Like, and you can use it everywhere that you want inside to build another one. Yeah. Okay. Next thing is. Over here, this is a, a simple UML, right? Over here, we have the song that's named the class. Here's the instance variables, and here's the methods. Yes. Okay, so instance yeah, variables are known as state. The methods are behavior. Why? What is it state? I, look, I know what it is, but what do you mean the state? What do you mean state? State means the current situation. That's what state current means. Situation. So right now, if this title is, say the artist is, um, you know, I don't know which band do you like. Say it's a, I don't know, who, Bob Dylan. Yeah. Okay? The artist Bob Dylan, the title is blowing in there, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's the current state of that of the, of this class, the object. I can change the state and say, you know what? I'm going to change the song to be a different song. Oh, That's what state means. So every, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. State means this is what, what it is right, right now. On this class, this is what it is. But the object. The yeah. object is this is what the object is. The object of the class. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay, and therefore, this is what it knows, and this is what it does. I don't know, I don't like that word knows. It knows about itself. Is yeah, better. like, who, who, what, yeah, I, I know, I know. Okay, so this is what... This is knows, this, uh, this object knows about whatever the title is. And right, this is and this is what it does. Okay, instance and object are the same thing. Anytime they use, just it's the same thing. Instance. It just means one example of a class. It was a real hard... Down to earth example. We have a, a song. Okay, the object would be Bob Dylan blowing in the wind. Yeah, that, so the inside. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Okay. okay. Inside variable. Why did I say inside variable or just instance? No, no. So the instance is the whole thing. Yeah. Right? That you make an example oh, of. Oh, okay. Okay? okay? Instance and object is like saying we have a song class and we have three objects a Bob Dylan song, a Metallica song, and a regular song. Okay. Okay. When you design a class, you think about the data and the object will need to know about itself. That's the main thing you have to re realize. Okay. So if you're creating a person class, you don't have to put in there what the weather is outside because it shouldn't have to know that. Yeah. Right. You only have to say what it's about it, and the data and the method should all be what it needs. What it's doing. Right. For it's, yeah. It's not like. Yeah, what it does. It's human being. It's not fine. It's what it's doing. Actually. Right. So, for example, if, if say there was there was like a um, trampoline, right, yeah. in the game, and the person jumps on the trampoline and it makes the person jump, still the person shouldn't have any method in there jumping on the trampoline because it itself only knows about his body. Yeah. The trampoline can then take a person and yeah. make a bounce. Oh. And the, oh, and you see the person jumping. Right. In other words, a person shouldn't have to know about a trampoline. Oh. Okay, okay. A person should just know about himself, his eyes, his ears, yeah. what he smells like, etc. And then if he goes on trampoline, well, the trampoline... And then you connect them together. Yeah. And we'll see later no, on. No, there's nothing in the men, like something that connects to a... Nothing. Like, you just need... Nothing. You look, like inside the class. We'll see how to do later on. Right. Right. Later on, we'll see how, how we actually do that in an easy way. But the point is that a person okay. shouldn't know about how to jump on a trampoline. What is not what is trampoline? Right? When he goes to the trampoline, the trampoline acts in a certain way and makes him do certain things. Okay. Remember, a class is not an object. This is always confusing for beginners. A class is like a template. It's a blueprint. Okay. Yeah, class is the yeah object is what you get it from the class. Yeah. So the class is just a blueprint, yeah. it's like a cookie cutter. Yeah. Okay. okay. Never. So main we use main to to launch application and to test it out. Okay, so a real Java application, a finally full-blown app. If you look on your on your yeah. Android, you find an awesome app. All it is is objects talking to other objects. That's all it is. Okay, like everything inside there is objects. Everything, every single thing. But it is objects. Yeah, button are objects. The screens are objects. Videos are objects. So it's not. It's made. I feel like you can play. Oh my God. Okay, global variables. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Um, chapter 10, we'll, we'll learn about those. And later on in the, in the book, by the end of the book, we'll see how you can actually 
make a package that just to send somebody, he opens up and he has the application. Oh, really? Yeah. No, which oh, is wow. like a real app. How you, I, without doing Android apps, like an app for a computer. Oh, wow. How to send really? somebody a cool app that he doesn't have to install anything. You just pass, pass them and he has it. Okay. Chapter 2 is done. Ready for one more chapter? I'm ready. I'm, whatever you've done, let me know. Okay. Chapter 3. Now we're going to get into some of the... Uh, more inside. Yeah. Okay. So variables. Remember, variables are just a bucket that holds something. They come in two flavors, primitive and object reference. OK? So primitive actually has the data inside the bucket, the actual data. So for example, here are all the primitives. We have over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's all you got. If I have one that's a integer and I put inside the integer 55, inside this actual variable will be 55. I'm, I'm, OK, all the people doing the review for other, but I thought like maybe you know, also do me also in the middle when you tell me just also test me sometimes, like you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, I hear like you. Like whatever you just just you know, because we do review, I wanna know that you know, like Okay, okay, good good idea. You understand what I'm just saying say, like yeah, but you can can keep going like I want you to you know review, I wanna make sure that you know um, like sometimes How about this? Um, um okay. No, no, you keep going. You have nothing on you when you. I think maybe, maybe, maybe sometimes we'll meet like one, one times in a week. You'll go over your notes the opposite way. You, you'll give the class. Okay, okay, but uh, but I'm waiting on you know, my notes on on the notebook. It's okay, or so you want them on the computer. Um, it's better to have a computer. I'll tell you why? Because okay, um, when you're on easy. your job, I know it's much easier, but at least when you're done, put it on here. Because when you're on your job, these notes will be invaluable. Yeah. When I when I did SQL when I started doing programming I, I learned SQL, I used my SQL notes for like a couple of years. Oh, okay. Anytime I had a question, I'll just do a quick search through my notes, and boom, I find it. Okay, so I need, yeah, I need to know how to. Okay. And so like, we'll see. Do I have on this machine? Let me see something. Let me see if I have. Yeah. So let me just say something right now, very quickly on the side. Say I'm, say I'm over here, and I, I got a question at work called you know something about the primitive primitive variable, right? I can just go over here, right click on my folder, Windows grep. I think I have to, I have to install it again. Okay, I, I'll Wait. install grep. Later on, I'll show you how to use okay, grep. Okay, so you basically you type whatever and it gives you. It shows you anywhere in your code, any, anywhere you're anywhere you want file, to search. Yeah, that stuff comes up. So okay, you can so quickly can search through, through your stuff. It really helps a lot. Okay. okay. So a primitive. What's the difference between a primitive and an object reference? You go ahead. Okay. Uh, object reference, it's like it's a remote. Okay. That inside a gar, uh, inside those gar that refers to the object. It's not based, the object is not inside the gar. Okay. Cool. In the primitive, the bucket is basically in every bucket. You have the type that the primitive can go inside. Like if you have like the say say like. In it's only in, then you can put the sh you no you can put long in in, but you can put in in long. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is mean that it's actually inside and in object in object references, it's a remote that point to the object in the, in the no I forget the cloud uh, the name the on the second on the garbage something no uh, yeah 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 yeah. Gar How do you think, uh, yeah. The garbage collectible heap. Heap on the yeah. heap. Yeah, it's on the heap. Which is a, this is memory. Yeah, it's, it's just somewhere. Yeah, heap is a certain, yeah. certain area of memory that got Java. Was. Okay, cool. Okay, so. Okay, so here's the thing. Even if I put, if you notice over here, a byte holds eight bits, which yeah. means it's going to hold from negative one twenty to one twenty seven. So even though over here integer is holding twenty four, I cannot put that inside a byte. Even though that number itself could go in a byte, but since it's an integer, I cannot stick it inside a byte. And this is because the byte is only for small. Right. And, and it won't take an integer. Even if the compiler says, I don't care. If by the end of the day, it it's could. Small. Yeah, because it's, the integer can go more than the byte. So right. That's why you can go yeah. it. Because if they, the object, the x, you can change. If somebody changes it. Right, boom, it's a crash. OK? But the opposite will work. I can put a byte into an integer because it will always fit. This yeah. cup will always fit into here, but not vice versa. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. 
Okay, here, remember, you can name a class anything. Remember, just don't start off with underscore. Uh, you could start with underscore. Don't start off with, you can't be any of these, and you can't, um, you can't start off with a number. Yeah. Okay? These are the actual keywords in Java, which is very small if you think about it. This is basically the, the language. <laughs> you think about it. In the uh, yeah. This is a good portion. If you know what all these things are, you basically got to... No Java. So yeah, a lot of it, because, yeah. Okay, so what about objects? There is no such thing as an object variable. So if someone says the word an object variable, you know he doesn't know Java. Because it's an object reference yeah. variable. It never holds an object. It always holds a reference to it. Okay? And that just has... what it, What's in there is just a, a certain number in, in bytes, in bits, that reference where memory it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I understand like more than more than. Yeah, same thing. Remote controls are awesome way of looking at it. Yeah, it just yeah. What is it? They have the ID, the number, yeah. by the ID for the object. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and you have to be careful because many times, say, say, say we have a method that returns a dog. Right. If if int is an object. It is not. Integer is not object? No. String is object. String is. String is, is string is yeah, string is. Integer is not. So when you have string is also an It's error. also a memory. It's also yeah. Okay. Which we'll see later on. That if you don't that can cause some issues. Right. We'll see that because remember, remember, if you have five remotes pointing to one object and you keep changing it, they're all changing one object. Yes. So we have to be careful with strings. We'll see later on how it works. Ah, this is different. Right. Because oh. remember strings, if you have two if you have two remote controls pointing to the same string, they're both changing it. It's going to look like chaos because they're changing the same. They so make a release, the release, and create a new string. Right, 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 right. right. You have to remember how, how they work, and we'll see later on why it does that. Um, yeah, but you're right. String is an object. The only difference is you don't have to you don't have to make a new string. It, Java does it for you. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Right. Like object, first you have to do in object, you create another copy of remote control. Okay. In object reference, when you create an object, a new object, you just create a new R in right, right. remote. Well, to remote one object. Right. That you could do as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here's a good example. Right. The here's a dog. That the over here we just made a bucket that will hold a dog. Yeah. Then we add inside of it an actual dog. Reference, yes. and then that bark would be like a button on the remote control. Yes. So, so bark. It's an object type, object dog. D. It's an uh, uh, object type dog. Yeah. Object reference. Yeah. Object. So D would it would be a a dog. It is dog, yeah. and you bark call bark. the dog to bark. Yeah. Inside the, yeah, the object. Yeah. So really, D is not a dog. It's a it's a reference to a dog. Yeah. Remote yeah. control to a dog. Okay. Okay. So unless you make it final, you can change it. So, for example, if I have dog d equals new dog and d dot bark, I can then go d equals another new dog, and it, that remote control will go to a different dog. D dot dog. Say I do. Okay. Here, I have an example over here. Um, no. This example is fine. Say I have dog d equals new dog. Yes. And then I do again dog d equals new dog. dog Sorry, no, I say I do d equals new dog again. Okay. D and now will switch from pointing to that dog to a new dog. Ah, uh, yeah. The remote control, you can always change. Yeah. yeah, you, you can change what you're pointing to. But final will say boom, it can never ever be assigned a variable again. So where you write the final after the. You, when you actually write it, you'll write over here final dog d equals new dog. Oh, so nobody, if you're going to do d. Equals you again, dog, never. Not gonna you can run. never do equals. We'll, 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 we'll. When do you use final? It's, you don't use it that often. Okay. You don't use it that often where you have something that's really final. And you can never switch it again. But sometimes it, sometimes it happens. Okay? So remember, a, a, a remote control can be set to null, which means it'll work for a dog if their dog will ever be assigned in the future. Right now there's no dog, so I can't do it anymore. It's like a remote control that doesn't have any TV set. Yeah. Point again. Until you point right to to new dog or to new whatever it is. Okay. So what what's going on in this screen over here? Tell me what's going on over here. 
אוקיי, שהוא... שהוא... זה מאוד קשור לצפון to a book object, b and c for it too, and one is on the heat because there is nothing for him, and because that is like, we never go on forever. So it, it, the, gar the, the garbage collector will knock it out. Yeah, it just, yeah. And again, over here, this one goes to null, but this yes. one's still pointing to it, so it won't be. It's still null. Okay, here's a simple thing of a simple array. Okay, so you make int nums, and nums equals int 7, which means we have 7 buckets. Yes. Okay, and then over here you can assign it. Num 0 equals 6, num 1 equals 2. Yeah, number. So, remember, an integer, and an integer, an array is always an object. An array, uh, int in array is always an object. Once you make an array, it's an object. No matter what, even though integers itself is not an object, yeah, uh, the yeah. array is an object. This picture defines it. Okay. So nums over here is a reference variable pointing to a whole array. The array itself holds cups that are primitives. Okay? So in this, okay. Okay. It's not actually create three, seven remotes. It's create one right. remote to an object. Right. And in here you'll have six is in there, 19 is in there, 44 yeah. is in here, 42 is in there. Right? And 20 and 1. Right. Now remember, what if this was presidents? Well, if it was president? So it was dogs. What? Though it's supposed to be, uh, but it's not an integer. Right. So you can change the name, but if it's a... No, okay, so say we go over here, we do dogs, you make a dogs array. Okay. Then these will be remote controls to point to another to object. Yeah, to, to the right. object. So we'll have this bubble, then remote controls point to another bubble, etc. Yeah, here's an example. Yeah. Perfect, over here. In okay, case so we have a dog. Yeah. So pets is a dog reference variable. It has a remote to an array. Every reference that this remote goes to the, to the cloud, to the heap, you create a new dog in every... In, 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 create a new remote to an object. Right. Okay, so what if, if I ask you what is pets? What is that? Pets is the array list, the, the array list for the dogs. Right. So for the, the dogs that you create, like dog, pets, uh, zero, pets, dog, name, like, you know, right. zero is the name, so those packets, those those packets there, this is, all of them is the pets. Okay, so yeah. dogs dogs is an array of pets. Yeah, dogs is an array. So, yeah, array, pets is the list. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. List of pets. Okay, so, so that's, so that's how, um, okay, cool. No, pets is the list of dogs. Yeah. Not dog is this a pet. Yeah, dog. yeah. If I said that, yeah. That's oh, okay. I, I want to. Yeah, so pets over here is an object reference yeah. variable that points to, to a list of dogs, an array, uh, an array of dogs. Yeah. And inside the array of dogs, each yeah. variable holds another reference to a dog. Yeah. Basically, to the object is one, not yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Nice. So the Java standard library, which is called the API, it has a lot of different data structures. This is one data structure. It holds data. We have a list of data. Later on, we'll learn about... Data. What? The list of data. What? What is one we're going to learn? We'll learn different ways of holding data. Oh, okay. This is one way. Then we learn about an array list. Then we learn yeah. about um, trees and sets. We'll see them later on. Okay. But, th but this is where your SQL knowledge is going to become very important. Because when we pull data out of a database, we're going to pull it into these structures. Okay, so you're not going to just create it. We're gonna. It's gonna pull from a database into the oh, structure. Oh, to into the array that we right. create in the database. Oh, right. So we have an array, okay. pull data into the database, and then work the with object, it in memory. The set, yeah. Okay. But that's how. That's how. That's why SQL is so important because what Java is like a teacher SQL. Sometimes you you say SQL or you say SQL. Both are fine. <laughs> because I my I tell my cousin. And SQL, I learned SQL, and he's like, he's going to see it. And then SQL, and he starts laughing. And also Python. You say Python or Python? How do you say that? I know, you're an American. They do nothing. They know I'm Israeli. It's not like you can ask me. Well, I'll tell you, because it depends who you are in England or America. In America, we say Python. So, yeah. And SQL, SQL, it's an old debate. Both are good. Yeah, because. It's really called SQL because it stands for something, but everyone says SQL. I know, so they, <laughs> I, I thought like 
Yeah. Okay, but we're, we're later on when we have, when we have, when we're going to connect to the database, we're going to have data, uh, the the SQL SQL pull out of yeah. the database yeah. into an array, and okay. then with our Java now we, we deal with the array inside memory. We pull basically the object. Yeah. Yeah. So say we had a database of different dog. dogs. We'll pull the dogs into the array and then yeah. in memory. Like in the in the API. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, so remember, arrays you can't are not dynamic. You can't add new like over here. We do it seven. We kind of add eight. It's too late. Array lists we can always add and remove. This is why arrays are not really used that much. Yeah. Because you can't. They're not. They're not flexible. So there you every time you you basically add you add the, like you. Add, you have to know off the bat how much you need. If you're doing the new array, so first one you just have a new only one bucket. Only one remote. So if you add it, add another bucket. Yeah. Add another space. Yeah. So you know, array lists. It doesn't, with this one, it's create the seven. Right, right, right. Yes, the array lists are much more parallel. Yeah. Um, cool. That's it. Chapter three, eight o'clock. So I got to head now. Okay. That's that was a good three right. chapters, man. Yeah. Good solid three chapters.